Hey guys, it's Dr. Wee. Just wanted to uh, check in and share with you just a couple things about vitamin K2 and the different forms that are out there because it is important to know, again, which one uh, that seems to be uh, better than others. So the different variations of vitamin K that are uh, out there are really kind of broken down into two, uh, two classes. First is vitamin K1 and then, then there's vitamin K2. Uh, vitamin K1 is what you find in most of the le green leafy vegetables and that is important for uh, proper blood health and for blood clotting while vitamin K2 is primarily uh, for uh, cardiovascular health as well as for bone health and for, uh, for strong teeth. So K1 again found in green leafy vegetables, K2 uh, found more in dairy products and also again better for like the bones and for the teeth. Now K2 when you look at that, that is also broken down into uh, different, uh, I guess, forms. And the two main forms that are available are uh, MK4 and then MK7. So K2, there's a MK4 and MK7. MK4 is fine. Again, this is also found in a lot of the uh, grass-fed meats and, uh, the, and also in dairy. Uh, again, this does have a lot of health benefits, but the, the problem with MK4 is that it really has a short half-life. Uh, half-life, so it means it only lasts in your body for a short period of time, while MK7 tends to last in your body for a lot longer, so it has a much more of a physiological effect. So when I'm looking for a supplement, what I recommend for patients is a vitamin K2 MK7. So again, from the from not K1, K2, and then you want the MK7, not the MK4. Again, it's not a make or break when you look at when you look at MK4 versus MK7. But again, the research does suggest that the uh, vitamin K2 MK7 tends to be the best as far as effectiveness and as far as again promoting the best uh, best benefits for heart health as well as bone and teeth health. So again, vitamin K2 MK7 is the form that I recommend the most.